great sauce. Can I try it? I've never seen those before. What do you think? So we are on our way to the Sweets and Snacks Expo at the Indiana Convention Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. What is the Sweets and Snacks Expo? It is a giant gathering of all kinds of candy, snack, chocolate, you name it, they make it. Tiny can of beans. They're all gathered in this one place exhibiting all their latest and greatest, most loved products. They're fruit flavored chewy candies. I've never seen those before. Two years ago, I went to the Sweets and Snacks Expo when it was in Chicago. That's usually where it is, and it was awesome. Came away with so much candy, enough to fill a tiny child sized swimming pool. It's three days. We've got at least two days that we're gonna check it out and hopefully find new products. Maybe uh, see what some of our favorite companies are currently up to, what they're making, what's hot, what's new. And hopefully come home with just a shit ton of candy. After getting settled, we headed to the convention center to check in, grab our bag, and see what types of things we'd encounter. A whole world of candy was waiting. And wouldn't you know, we saw some pretty interesting things bumped into some familiar characters. While we were here at the Jelly Belly booth, we learned about a new release of an old favorite. This is brand new. Like, I didn't even know about this yet. It's a sixth edition? Yeah. Cappuccino or liver and onions, pomegranate or old bandage. Wow. There's a couple new ones in there then. I wondered what this was supposed to be, but that's their liver and onions. <laughs> and now for what we really came for. All the free candy! You like a Tootsie Roll egg? Sure, why not? I assume it's a candy shell with Tootsie Roll on the end. Let's get some high chews. I got quite a few high chews, so you need to go get high chews also. Pumpkin spice caramel. Not sure what that flavor is. Gummy pizzas! They are technically chocolate. Chocolate cheesecake. It's very chocolatey. I don't get a ton of cheesecake flavor though. No? No. Should I? I think so. <laughs> At each booth, we kept trying all the different candies. We even found one nostalgic candy that really piqued our interest. Yeah, so the Mountain Bar, it started at Tacoma. Okay. And it was, the original formula was this vanilla. Started in 1914 and went to market in 1915 as the Mount Tahoma Bar. Oh, okay. And then they changed it because there was some dispute over the name of the mountain, which is still going on today. So they just called it the Mountain Bar. And we have three varieties. So the center of this one is a uh, peanut butter, obviously. Sounds delicious. Covered in chocolate. The chocolate has peanuts inside of the chocolate. Okay. So you have this mound of chocolate and then just this mountain of peanut and chocolate over the top. The vanilla is a vanilla fondant, which is the old school fondant. So okay. it's the same thing that you would use in old style, uh, like, creams, like okay. the box chocolate creams. Yes. And then the cherry is the same, except for it's cherry, cherry flavored flavor. and has chunks of Washington state cherries in it. Oh. All of them covered in that chocolate and that peanut. Oh, neat. And then there's always this uh, funny thing that people say is like, it's gotten smaller. But honestly, if we look back at the size, it's actually gotten bigger. That's funny. It's just that when yeah. you were a kid, yeah. it filled your oh, hand yeah. a lot different. Oh, yeah. So now it looks smaller because your hand yeah. is bigger. People but... say the same stuff about my store. Like yeah. they come in and they're like, this used to be so much bigger whenever I was a kid. And I'm like, because you were this it's, tall. You were like, tiny, you were tiny. It's a little, blob. It's a little blob. This one, uh, you know, has, well, it like, didn't travel well, we but were, that's okay. In the 80s, we had a TV campaign for these that won a national award. And it was this black and white, like, horror movie where somebody was screaming, oh, yeah. like, ah. <laughs> and then it cuts away to this going thump on the ground. And it says, only ugly till you eat them. <laughs> can I try it? You guys can try it. Oh, no, it is really chewy. Uh-huh. It's kind of, like, fudge-like, but uh -huh. not because there's so much chocolate. Yeah. And then what happens is- A lot of nuts. Yeah, when you have all those peanuts, the oils from the peanuts go into the yeah. chocolate and kind of make it yeah. fudge-like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really good. good. These like, used to be made by hand, like hand scooped uh -huh. and, and it was all ladies. Oh. We have pictures that are back from the 30s. Yeah. 
of this row of ladies hand dipping this chocolate. Yeah. Lucille well, Ball was probably one of them. Totally, yeah. totally, right? <laughs> we can never get rid of this. This is our, it's our heritage. You'll you know? get so much hate mail we if would, you do. We would. Well, that was delicious and also my lunch for the day. As the day went on, we continued exploring and finding all kinds of new to us chocolates and sweets. We even came across something you don't see every day in the chocolate world. Chocolate sculptor Paul, known as the chocolate genius, was creating a life-size gorilla for the endangered species chocolate brand, which honestly was one of the neatest things we saw that day. After our brief art lesson, we then moved on and we spoke with Trent from Chocso, a keto-friendly chocolate brand. I'll tell you a little bit about what makes us famous. Yeah. Is that you know we're actually chocolatiers. So okay. if you look at our company, you know, the two main partners have about 75. You sprinkle in myself, the chocolatier, um, one of the owner's sons, and we're up to around 120 years. So we're not VC guys, we're actually people who know how to make chocolate. So sure. when you look at what we do, everything is certified organic, project non-GMO, gluten-free, plant-based, vegan friendly. And what we do is we take high cocoa content chocolate, 85 and 70. We select the beans for their real fruity naturalness, and then we only use a little bit of real organic cane sugar. And that just helps bring out the natural sure. nuttiness of the chocolate. So when you eat this, mm -hmm. you don't have to have a lot of sugar. But when you take this, I mean, super, it's super cream. It's only yeah. three grams of sugar per piece. Real organic sugar. So when you think about what your body can process, you'll give it real ingredients, it can process that. Even though we didn't set out to be keto, but when you use high quality chocolate with just a little bit of sugar, you fall into that window. What do you think? It's really good. There's but I love dark cups. chocolate oh, yeah. and I love peanut butter. So And now this is guilt free because there's only three grams of sugar. So now you can get safe. Even if it wasn't, sugar. I'd just go run later and then I'd be like, it's fine. <laughs> Which is very cool. Well, there's quite a bit left to talk about, so we're just going to have to do a second video. Some things we just don't have time to include. Like this. Yeah, I pretty much nailed it, but you know. Oh, I do have to tell you about the best portable non-candy snack food bacon I've ever had in my life. Oh my God. Next week.